Now, the importance of the crossover error rate, it allows us to compare two or more different biometrics. Think of it this way. As we increase the sensitivity of a biometric, it's more and more sensitive, we're going to decrease our fault acceptance rate because we're not going to be accepting as many subjects. So we're certainly going to decrease the number of invalid subjects that we accept. At the same time, however, we're going to increase our false rejection rate. More sensitivity means we reject more people, period. At the point where the percentages cross over, where we have an equal number of false rejections and false acceptance, that is called the crossover error rate. Let's assume we have two different biometrics, a retina scan and an iris scan. They're both related because they both deal with different components of the eye. Let's assume that one scan has a crossover error rate of a 4, and the other has a crossover error rate of 5. We want to go for the lower crossover error rate. Lower is always better, because what that means is that when these two meet, we are overall rejecting fewer subjects. So the bottom line is, compare the crossover error rates and choose the biometric which gives you the lower crossover error rate.